Hi, I'm Kelly with The Suburban Soapbox, and today we are making my favorite comfort food ever, halushki. If you are Polish or Eastern European, you will know exactly what this is. It's fried cabbage, fried in butter or bacon fat, and egg noodles. You can use basically any kind of noodle you want, but for this recipe, we're using egg noodles. So let's get started. For halushki, all you're going to need is a head of cabbage, some butter, onion, egg noodles, salt and pepper. Really, really, really simple, but there's so much flavor in halushki that you really don't need anything else. I'm using butter today, and we're just gonna put it in the skillet and get it going. You're going to need about six tablespoons of butter. So while the butter is melting, we're gonna cut up the onion. And we're just gonna cut off the ends. Take off the peel. And for halushki, I like to slice my onion into pretty thin slices. It adds a lot of flavor to this dish, so don't skip the onions. Now that your onions are sliced, we're gonna toss them into the skillet. And you wanna break them apart a little bit and just give them a quick stir and kind of break up any rings that are still stuck together. It's gonna help them cook a lot faster. Now our onions are sauteing. While they're cooking, we're going to slice up the cabbage. And I like to slice my cabbage so that it's in like long ribbons. And I just remove the outer leaves just because they, you know, sitting in the grocery store. I was at the grocery store the other day and I saw a woman drop a cabbage on the floor, it rolled 60 feet. She went and got it, picked it back up and put it right in the produce bin. So if you don't wash your vegetables, there's a good reason to do it. I'm gonna cut it in half this way, carefully. Try not to cut off a thumb. And then we're gonna lay it flat and cut it this way into thin strips. And the thinner you cut your cabbage, the faster it's gonna cook for you. Now when you get close to the core, you'll see the cores right here. I usually change direction because the core is really tough and you don't really need that in there. You're gonna have enough cabbage. Don't get greedy. Turn it this way, and I like to cut it again. I love this recipe because it's super inexpensive to make, and it's totally filling. Like you're not, you can eat a ton of it and feel full for like six days. It's really, really good. So the onions have started to soften, so I'm gonna throw in this first batch of cabbage. And it's crazy because it looks like there's a ton of cabbage, but by the time it cooks down, there's like nothing. So I will use the whole head of cabbage. Okay. If you have any leftover, like the cabbage core, or even little bits of cabbage, you can throw it in a freezer bag and put it in the freezer and use it to make vegetable stock. So when you're making vegetable stock, whenever I have leftover like carrot tops, or leftover little bits and pieces from like frozen veggies, I throw them into a Ziploc container or a Ziploc bag and stick it in the freezer and then you can have all of those things go into a pot with some water and some aromatics and make a really easy vegetable stock. And that's my tip for today. So we're just gonna give that a quick stir. You just wanna be mindful to make sure your onions are not burning on the bottom because they did start cooking before the cabbage. While the cabbage is cooking down, we're going to add our egg noodles to just a pot of boiling water, and then just give them a stir, and they'll only need a couple minutes to cook. Now that our cabbage is all cooked down and you have some beautiful caramelization on both the onions and the cabbage, we're going to stir in our noodles. And this whole process will take about 20 minutes to get it to this point. It really, really, really cooked down a lot. 
So don't be stingy with your cabbage. It's gonna look like you have way too much cabbage and you probably could use some more. So I'm gonna grab my noodles and they're drained and cooked and stiff. We'll just push them in here and break them up. And then you're gonna stir your noodles in and the more you stir the noodles in, the more they'll break up. And you can see like the cabbage and the onions have beautiful color. Don't be afraid to scrape the bottom of the pan. You probably have some color on the bottom that's just gonna add more flavor. So once you have it all combined, we're gonna toss in the salt and pepper and just stir everything up and then we can eat. So a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And that is it. You are done, ready to eat. This is a great pairing with pierogies or kielbasa or sausage. It's really good with anything. You know what would be great to serve it with is a, um, a spaghetti server with, you know, with the tongs, <laughs> the little fingers. It smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite and then take a nap. Get a really good bite some cabbage and some onion and a little bit of noodle. Mm. It's buttery and you can taste that cabbage and the caramelized onions are like sweet. It is the perfect comfort food. I'm gonna eat this whole bowl in probably about 2.5 seconds. If you like this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more easy recipes, visit thesuburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again.